The second step in learning the bent over barbell row is I have to learn how to use my arms, okay? So last section, last video, we talked about being able to stabilize myself with my hips, being able to set my neutral spine in a way that it's stabilizing me and it's not causing the movement, it's not doing the movement. Um, so the next step of that is we also need to learn how to do a row. If you just, you know, if you keep your shoulders way forward while you're doing your bent over row, it doesn't matter how your RDL looks, you're not training the upper back. You're not getting the scapular movement that you need and you're never gonna load the rhomboids, the uh, low traps, mid traps that you're looking to load. <clears throat> so what I like to start people with is just a seated row variation. You know, normally if somebody's totally new to training, I'm starting them with a one hand supported on the bench dumbbell row variation. Um, that's one dumbbell at a time. I think it's easier to learn that motion. And if you're totally new to lifting, I would suggest you start there. But if you're trying to get yourself prepared for the, uh, the bent over barbell row, then I think you need to learn how to coordinate both shoulder blades back at the same time. And doing that seated on the ground or seated in a chair, especially if you have one of those nice pulley machines where you, you get to set your feet up on the bot or on some sort of block or something and uh, you stabilize yourself that way, that's much easier to learn than trying to oppose gravity and doing it the barbell way. So um, after or Concurrently, while you're learning the RDL, it's nice to pair that with uh, some sort of seated rowing variation. I would normally suggest a cable. Bands are like a really portable option, uh, but they're difficult because the hardest part of the row is that finishing that last little bit, getting the bar to actually touch your chest. And that's when the band is hardest. So bands are, are definitely suboptimal. Cables are much better, much smoother, um, but you can make it work. Whatever you gotta do, you can make it work. Um, so yeah. Why, it, you know, I said it before, but I want to emphasize it. You can learn these things simultaneously. If you're not really sure how to do an RDL yet, then you can, you know, you can do a set of that and then you can go over to the seated row and you can do a set of that. Basic motions here. Again, I've talked about this before. You should watch those other videos. This is just a cursory overview, but I need to lead with my shoulder back first and then my elbow follows to get the rest of the squeeze. This just kind of directs my um, uh, shoulder joint in the right position so that I can maximize my mobility during this. Um, that's basically step two slash step one B um, after or during your mastering of the Romanian deadlift. You should also master the seated row.